There we go! Oh, 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 oh. Fourth Master Slug in gameplay! Ahoy! It's fellow Skyrimers! We're back again to another playthrough of Skyrim, and I think I need to explain a little bit because in the last video you saw, uh, saw me freeing a uh, blue cloak, cloak, sky cloak, uh, storm cloak, uh, one of the the, the re 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 rebels of this game, and killed two Imperial soldiers. The problem is that my controllers were set on that the, the same button that I click to end a recording is the same button that is also reloading the last auto save I had and that took me back a couple of minutes so I had to replay go to that uh, farmhouse and when I came up to this bridge a um, freaking assassin attacked me and he also had a uh, let's see a hit job on me and as instructed, you are to, are to eliminate uh, Phaledrion by any means necessary. The black sacraments has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. You, we have already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option, Astrid. Uh, I imagine that is the woman of whose sister I killed early on in this playthrough. And that's why they keep on coming and uh, they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming. Yeah. So let's con uh, continue our way to Eberstedt or Eberstad. Eberstad. Come on, uh, discount Lydia. We're almost there. Let's see, follow the path. Where do we go? Uh, Eberstadt, Riften, and Windhelm. White run. Oh, freaking spider! God damn! Poisoning me? Alright, I think uh, that should uh, heal me up. Heal me up before we go, go. Come on, Lydia, we need to get to town. You there, a traveler! Over here! Oh, freaking vampire! Goddamn vampire! Vampire fledging. Oh, the vampires, they always creep me out so freaking much. By how they, they really look like bats. Well, they were easily defeated though. Let's see, you have killed a Vigilant of Stendar. Yeah, they are the anti-vampire hunters or something like that, I imagine, or I think. That's the scary thing about traveling uh, during the day, or n night, I mean, uh, that you could always encounter vampires, you never know. Oh yeah, we're on the right path. We're on the right path, baby. I was walking this way, and I was walking. I think we're gonna go this way. Let's see, the path to Iverstedt is this way. Thank you for the <laughs> directions, because uh, if there's one thing uh, with Skyrim, it's easily to get lost when you're out walking. Eberstedt! We have finally arrived! Just took two videos to get there. Or just one and a couple of... Careful now, Lydia. Careful now. Ooh, straight into the heart. I don't have a lot of uh, health potions. Let's uh, go check the local... Iberstedt has been dis detected. Quick saving, so we don't have to replay all that. Especially now that we killed some vampires. Let's see what's in here. Ahoy! I'm looking for Bears adventures. Crazy. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? Uh, uh, what's making you so angry? My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. 
If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Yeah, don't uh, don't do that. You're having a beer problem. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Nice. Uh, what? Anything you can tell me about High Frothgar? The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. Uh, how could bears run you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Goddamn bears. Now go give those stupid bears. We don't get many happened. visitors. Through. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Oh, the barrow. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a haunted place here with the uh, skeleton king. We're not gonna go for that today. We're not enough leveled up, but we're gonna go for it later on. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgard? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. Uh, what can you tell me about the barrow? There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Do the spirits haunt our town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? Uh, I could investigate it for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Uh, I'm looking for work at Gatlin Elites. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Kill the bandit leader located at the Broken Helm Hollow. Uh, has anyone explored the barrow? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrow. And that was it. We never saw him again. Uh, heard any rumors lately? I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm. Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament. Trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Talk to, talk to Aventus Aretino. Heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it, after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Uh, had any rumors lately? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Face sculptor in Riften. I think we talked about everything about the rumors. So let's talk. What, what can I learn about? More about magic. Sir, I've got no interest in magic users. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold, and that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. R wizards are always the, the prejudice. And you don't have anything of value. Let's see what the salt gives us then. Damage to their health. <laughs> you cannot eat the quest right. Uh, moon sugars. I'm not gonna eat some vampire dust. If you're headed up to the monastery, oh. watch your step. It's a long way down. Let's see on the map. 
the barrow is over there. We're gonna go and discover it, and then we're gonna head out to Riften. Hello, guard. This was one of the really first proper uh, things that I explored with the skeletons and dead people in it. It's a Nordic room, thousands of years old. Yeah, we're not gonna go for that just yet. We're gonna keep a low profile for now. Now we're gonna go for Riften. Go on the Riften road, road, road to Riften. Go on the road to Riften, road, road to Riften. Let's see where to go to Riften. Riften in this way. <gasps> Some people. Come along. No more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. What can I do for you? Why are we even going to a wedding at this far-flung end of the Empire, anyway? Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Vittoria's wedding. Uh... Shall we rob him or not? Plot is... Indeed, if we ever get there. I told you, it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well-connected merchant with the East Empire. I want to kill him, but he had a name and he could be part of a quest line later on, so we're not going to risk it. Strange to encounter them here. Uh, Riften this way. I see someone, looks like a wizard. Perhaps a vampire? I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me. Oh, that's a place they recommend that we should go. Where is this shrine? In the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. I'm staying out of this. Hey! Nobody here now. Mike, Mike wishes you well. Mike the liar. I'm on a pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura. The Mike of knows much and tells me. some. Mike knows many things others do not. Mike, Mike is done talking. Mike is done talking. I want to kill you because you're a liar. Ah, you can't die. Well, we should get out of here. Come, Lydia. Yeah, that's the second thing. If I had attacked the other guy, maybe he would have been um, an immortal person as well. I, I, that, that's the one thing I think it's a little bit sad about the Skyrim, that you can't kill everyone. It would be fun and fascinating if you could. Let's take a detour to this uh, fort just to check it out and put it on the map. We're not gonna uh, investigate it or cleanse it out though. We're gonna do that later on. I imagine there is uh, uh, mages, wizards and all that sort of thing in there. Coming about. I think I saw a wolf over here. Wolf! Werewolf? Dare wolf. Yeah, here we are, the wolf. Yeah, don't bother me, wolf. Or you get the bow. I think we're back on the road again. And let's see, Rift. Why is Riften so dark? It's like they don't like Riften. Akahit! Why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? It makes no sense that you are attacking me, Kahit. Well, I'm gonna leave you to rot here on the road for what you did. Might be because we attacked the Makit the liar. 
Maybe all the cats hates us now. Well, we don't like the cats either, so I think it's a fair trade. Lydia, come on, keep up now. Keep up, keep up. Oh, I get some other people. Looks like Imperial soldiers. <gasps> Imperial business, be on your way. Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. Yeah, it would be a shame if something happened to you. Oh, I did not mean to kill you, Stormcloak. I was trying to help you. But you ran into my arrow. So you have to... That's on you, actually. That's on you. We tried to save you. But now we're just robbing the dead here, so... Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. Werewolf? Damn. Wait, there should be something over here. Oh, I think this is the, the house where you have to say, find a shield for someone. Oh, we're getting near. Where are they at? I can hear them. Here they come. Lydia! God damn it, Lydia! Well, if you die, I will not be sorry for you. There you're coming. Took your sweet time. Wait, there should be something here. Oh, an orc place. An orc place. Oh, it's locked. And I don't think we want to mess with the orcs at this hour. A person. Excuse me. Hello. Ah, smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. Uh, can you teach me about speechcraft? Ah, well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and... Uh, the daughter of a prominent Thane. Well, let's just say, best not. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. All right. What are you doing out here? Some may find their inspiration tucked away in tomes, or by carousing in the cities. But I find it here, in the vast expanses of Skyrim. All right. The best tales are those of adventure. Yeah, uh, I'm bored now. Truly write such a tale without first experiencing such. I wonder, can we kill him? The life of adventure and song is the life for us, eh, friend? Let's see if we can kill him. If we can kill him, then we're just gonna restart it. Hi. Oh, you're not gonna. Oh, he, he went invisible. He has a lot of books. Uh, well, that's because you didn't want to teach me about craft. Whoops. Oh, there was no water here. Um, yeah, let's leave him there. You meet a lot of interesting people and then kill them on the road. I hear a wolf again. There, I see them even. Ah, the sun is coming up. How sweet. I think there's a mission to go over there. That's where my first Lydia died some time ago. And then I revived her, then she died below the surface in one of the dwarven caves. And since I had played too much, I couldn't revive her, and then I decided, well, I will not revive her then. Hello! 
guard might get nervous if a man approaches with his weapon drawn. Yeah, you should get nervous. I've killed a lot of your guards and your kind. Come on, Lydia. We're almost at the rift then. Sweet rift and we have finally arrived. They are the only city that uh, requires that you pay to get inside. Hold and stand down. If you want to get into Riften, use the north gate. This one's closed. Why? What's going on? My orders are to tell the riffraff to use the north gate. That's it. Could you make an exception in my case? No. You can use the north gate or you can head to the next city. Oh, you prick. Alright, well... Plumps! I think we can get inside for the water, and then we don't have to pay shite. Ha! Circumvented! Oh! Almost fell out. Wait, there are guards here too. If you want to enter Rift and use the north gate. Otherwise we have nothing to talk about. Jesus, there are guards here too. Let's see if we can go through here. Alright, we have unlocked this stable at least then. Let me through. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? This shithole? This is obviously a shakedown. I'll keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Ah! That was easy. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Ah, the city of thieves. I had another run in with the thief's guild. You're a stranger here too, huh? Mule the lioness. I think you can uh, actually hire her. Tell me about Riften's thieves guild. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? Man, that's Swedish accent. They're, they should not be called a guild. They talk like this. Actually, I'm hoping of you... Yeah, well, she, since since she doesn't like them, we don't. We, we're gonna lie a little bit. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna join them. I'm gonna. Uh, I agree completely. You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Erin, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. Uh, tell me about the Blackbriar family. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thief's Guild. I've tried everything I can to protect Riften's citizens from her family, but to no avail. Who else is in the family? Well, there is Ingun Blackbriar, Maven's daughter, Strange girl. She likes to spend time down in Elgrim's elixirs working on her alchemy. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. Spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi. The worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. Uh, you're not from Riften? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Valenwood, elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. Why are you here then? Many years ago I lost my blade, Grim Sever, 
within a Dremer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. You're Riften's protector. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. How did Eren save your life? It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Lifton, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. All right. So, what, what made Mjol a good ally? Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers, and you could end up in Rifton Jail, or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. I've never seen Mjol this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Uh, what's it to you? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Who are the Blackbriars? The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy, but it'll cost you. Dirt, huh? I'm not actually exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, Find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Uh, any news involving the Dark Brotherhood? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Uh, tell me more about the Black Briars. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Uh, tell me what this gem's worth. Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. Started no stone unturned. Become a full member of the Thieves Guild. Be seeing you around. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. I don't have any business with you, so get out huh? of my face. Yeah, you, you work at the stables? Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. What kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. 
Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Uh, I help you pay off your debt. You will? Oh, thank you. Speak to Sapphire about shader steps. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. See ya, Dark Elf. I'm beginning to think leaving Mornhold was a mistake. Maybe, maybe. Because he knew that I'm here. The bee and the barb. The barb and the bee, the bee and the barb. The barb. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the Looking for signs. work? Signs I need Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Maramal. We talked about this. Talon? Cute. Blessings of Mara upon you. Uh, I want to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. I could have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? No, not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. It's kind of like uh, green light, red light, yellow light. Um, usually when I was younger I could a a attend a party where you had one of those three colors on your clothing, like, like a small sign that was red, green or yellow. Uh, red mean, meant that you were uh, taken, yellow that you were kind of unsure, something in between, maybe dating. A green meant that you're all open for business. <laughs> this is kind of the same thing. Uh, can you tell me about Mara's beliefs? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. I'll buy an amulet of Mara, please. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. As you wish. Whatever you can afford will certainly be put to good use. Uh, screw you. Alright. May you return to her benevolence yeah. and save uh, your problem. I want to talk about Shader's debt. I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel well, out of his talent. debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. You and I both know this is a setup. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. Ah, uh -huh, Shadra. we bump into each other again. Shada, Shada, Shada. My food is the best. In uh, might, he might be out at the stables. Shada, Shada. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it, from what I've heard. Shada, Shada, where is Shada? There, is Shada. Any luck with Sapphire? You're no longer in debt with Sapphire. Five, eight. You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Got horses that need shoeing, so make it quick. Must be dangerous living outside the walls. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms in all of Skyrim. I bet you're wrong. Oh. Sounds like I've got a challenger. 
Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I can beat you in a fist fight. You match the bet, and we fight until one of us gives in. Uh, bets? All right, remember, this is a clean fight. No weapons, no tricks. And none of those fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Get him! Take this! Oh, oh! Level up! Gotcha, weakling. I don't believe it. I guess you were right. Yeah, you don't mess with elves here. Come on, he's not so tough. I hope you aren't angry. Not at all. It's good to be put in your place once in a while. Hey, where are you going? Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. How did you come to be known as Horse Crusher? Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. And one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Haven't ridden since. Can I buy a horse? Don't mind if you do. What's your price? Uh, I'll think about. I think I'll walk. Should have known you'd be a cheap one. I can uh, come and buy it later on. Oh, I see someone. We can talk with him. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't much to discuss. Why all the hatred for the Empire? They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We've fought for this land and died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. What happened to your daughter? Lelia joined the Stormcloaks many years ago, when the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim. I was so proud of her she served as a battle maiden using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield never even lifted a blade in her life it didn't matter the imperial soldiers cut her down killed her like a dog and left her body to rot in the mud and that's why i won't rest easy until every single Imperial soldier joins her, and Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Don't worry, we hate the Empire too this time around. Let's see, talk a little bit more inside here. Mjol we talk to... oh yeah. Well met, friend. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. What sort of message? Ah, well. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Sounds easy enough. Good man, you won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Uh, why is Sibby in jail? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. And why don't you tell Sibby yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Alright, I'm gonna do I'll that. I'll meet you outside of town. 
I'm gonna do that quest later on. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. Is there something I can do for you? How did you meet Karaba? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Uh, I could find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Uh, can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Uh, what's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Food. Ingredients. I can, uh... You mentioned you served special drinks? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lechance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. Tell, tell me about the Thieves Guild. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the Ratway with the rest of the trash. What's the Ratway? Disgusting. Ruined sewers filled with goodness knows what. There's an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves Guild's territory. Right, thank you for the information. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. <laughs> Maven! I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. I'm not gonna mention the Frost, because I'm gonna steal that from her. Your name carries weight in Riften. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. Oh yeah. Uh, you're in, <laughs> you're so... I believe we're done. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your horse. Uh, hello? What can I get you? Me? Wine? Uh, what's the word around town? Crime is an all-time high in this city thanks to the Thieves Guild. Don't we have enough problems with the war going on? Uh, wh where can I learn more about magic? Head north to Winterhold. There's a college there. They teach magic. Most Nords don't care for them. Phew. Uh, what's the word around town? Sibby Blackbriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. What's the word around town? If Maven Blackbriar keeps raising prices on meat, I'll have to resort to watering it down just to make ends meet. Alright, I think that's about it. Come back and see us again. You don't trust me? Welcome to the Bee and Bar. Man, talk about prejudice there. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Oh, yeah, it's this dude. Uh, I hated him. He was really annoying when I hired him, and when he died, I was like, yeah, screw you. If you change your mind, seek me out here. Yeah, I'm gonna hire you Why another time. Stabbing your foes when you can roast them alive in a gout of arcane fire. Screw you. I think we're gonna hire him when we uh, tend to attack some uh, dwarven caves or something like that. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? 
Uh, you seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Impressive. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. I'll get some for you. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. I need training in smithing. You wish to do what I do? Very well. Imagine current events are keeping you busy. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery. But what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. Uh, where can I find the fire salts? The flame Atronach's body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. Remember, Never done an honest day's work in your life for all do. that coin the you carry, Elan. I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. How could you possibly know that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Uh, why uh, the ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Why are you doing this to Branche? We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now. Since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. How am I supposed to do all this? Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Blanche and leave it behind. Uh, I'm not ready to do this just yet. I'm ready when you are. Just give the word. Welcome to Riften. I'm gonna explore this a little bit first. Let's go to the jarl. I think this is the last one we're gonna do, and then we're gonna end this for today. The city's quiet enough now, but when the sun goes down, you best keep on your guard. Maven, screw you. Did you have some sort of official business here? Tell me your thoughts about the war. Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. Uh, it looks like you've stolen this uh, elfin armor. I take it you protected Jarl? Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Yar. I will not allow her to fall. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. Liars and bastards. Every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. 
All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Rathwee and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. What's the rat way? Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I'd go down there myself, but that would leave Yara Leila unprotected. Huh. I'm keeping my eye on you. Do that. Anuriel! Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Yarl Leila's steward, Anuriel. What do you do around here? As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. Uh, what are the rumors of corruption you mentioned? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. Alright. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. That's a threat. Jar Lila Lawgiver. I think she was executed uh, when I chose the Empire side. Welcome to Riften, Traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. You look very threatening. What's your stance on the war? While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. Uh, what of Ulfric himself? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. What is the White Gold Concordant? Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of a treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Good journey to you. Good talking to you. Sarland. No, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun at the Jarl's youngest son? Why would I ridicule you? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother has stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. What sort of lies has Ulfric been uh, spreading? Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. All right. All right, then. I'm gonna kill you then later on. Let's explore this keep. As Yar Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Oh, a wizard. Villandria! Did we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. What has you so preoccupied? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. 
My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. I don't understand a word of that. You don't have to because it's utter nonsense. It's never going to work. No, no, no. What I need to do is reverse that. Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent and then apply it with the proper incantation. What was I thinking? It would never work that first way. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, you totally lost me. I'll tell you why you won't tell me. Because you were absolutely right not to. It's a fundamental rule of magic and it would be ridiculous. You can't draw from harmonic energy without a soul siphon. <laughs> Since you're so well informed, I'm certain you've solved the problem with thermic drift, right? Uh, nope, I don't get it at all. What's not to get? It's as simple as Draven's first axiom of magic. Or was it Galarian's law of casting? Hmm. I'll tell you what, let me find out where that's from. I'll need to look through my library and get you an answer. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, you appear to need help getting organized. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. What did you need me to get? As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Point away and I get them. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. Uh, exactly where, where, uh, where exactly am I going? Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer's spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum Ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh well. Where can I learn more about magic? Winterhold. You want the college there. They teach quite a bit. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna end it there for today. Thank you very much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye-bye.